Welcome back to Carto. Uh, we are on chapter 7 of the volcano. Or the world. To our esteemed guests, we've received a package for you. Please pick it up in the grand lobby when you check out. Toiletries. Toilet treats? In the grand lobby, you say. Let's go. Okay. I remember you. Ah, oh, there you are. Is it right for you? Thanks. Note from Grandma? Did you see that eruption? What a sight. I barely escaped. That volcano seemed to move at the last moment. How fortunate. Or perhaps you're getting better with your map, you clever girl. I hope you get away safely too. I'm not convinced anyone knows how to read that dang calendar. The smoke is making it a bit hard to navigate. And my engine is close to overheating. There's an iceberg at the edge of the world. I'm going to swing by to cool things down. Let skies clear. Meet you there, if, if you can. Love, Granny. Oh, I imagine I'll take this car. Are you ready to weep the volcano? Yeah. See ya. Vol... Volcanic... Volcanographer? Okay. Going back to her at the library. This looks different than I remember. Carto, hi. I'm glad you're back. I could really use your help. Hmm? I'm just feeling a little bit homesick. I thought I'd feel better if I could read about my island. Maybe even find a way to sail back? Do you have um, any books about it? The story tender said he'd help me, but I think he forgot. I didn't forget you, whippersnapper. I just been busy cleaning up, up downstairs? Someone made a proper mess while rifling through our collection. I'm sure she didn't mean it, whoever it was. You're just eager to... And... Just eager and in... Consider it. Well, if you girls can get things squared away downstairs, I'll have more time to help. I can look through your files and let you know what I find. Of course we can do that. Um, can we do that, Carto? Please? You're so good at arranging things. Hooray! Okay, we're in. Just show us what to do. You don't know, all this sounds familiar to the book I'm reading right now. On a matter, follow me downstairs. That wasn't me, she just did that. I almost forgot. I all, I got most of the books away, but these boxes need to be moved. Can you transfer them from the left mat to the right mat? Just make sure to keep small boxes on the top of bigger ones so that nothing gets crushed. I'll be at the front counter looking through our files for your sailing book. Just let me know when you're done, thanks. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Nice, don't forget to let the story know you're turn around you're done. The little cartographer returned from the volcano only slightly singed. She needed to meet her granny on an iceberg, and no idea how to get there. But first, her good friend needed her help. No. Hmm. Finished already? Let me have a look. Fine box work, that. The next batch is ready for you. It's a shade trickier, thanks. Okay. Oh. Oops. Another batch down, let me see. Empress is just needed our help on the la one last batch. I'm almost done searching my files for your sailing book. Okay. Um... Oh... How are we possibly going to move all those boxes? You can't even reach the top one, where do you even start? I don't... know. Can you go that way? What? You're done already? What? I thought you'd be out for days to see this for myself. Hey, you left. Nice work. These are looking tidy indeed. You girls are a godsend. Found the sailing book your friend was looking for. It's in the island wing. I think she's already there. So much about the culture of my island here. And some of the traditions happen on our other islands too. I always thought it was just us. There's a reason why people of a certain tribe can never return home after they sail for their coming of age. It used to be that someone who left would try to sail home, only to be thwarted by the ocean or bad weather. Their families would never know the truth of what happened or assumed they didn't want to visit. By following this new tradition, parents can better prepare for the pain of never seeing their children again. It'll never be easy, but they'll know what to expect. A tough, but needed tradition. Blue-haired girl. Shortly after her best friend, the little cartographer, left the story chateau, the blue-haired girl's mind started to drift. She imagined her people back on her island laughing and fishing, and she missed them greatly. She made up her mind to return home to visit them and set off to sail, where she was quickly thwarted by heavy ocean fog and her compass stopped working. She tried several times in vain before giving up and sadly sang back to the story chalet. Though she wasn't the type to give up so easily, the blue-haired girl decided that she would look through every book in the chalet until she found a way to navigate home. She headed downstairs and started rifling through books. This one's not readable. Spending their days living within and full of soil, must earthworms are ex experts on the matter. It is says that if you give soil to a worm, they can point towards a source. The normal worms are created equal, and some are more accurate than others. 
many have been led astray by an overeager but unskilled worm. For those looking for a little help finding their way home, the right worm can be an invaluable companion. Look at this. So we navigate the o ocean using soil from your destination. I'm glad we grabbed some before we left. Now we just need a worm to sniff it out. I haven't had one right in my bucket. You had a worm on you this whole time? Gross, but also yay. We have everything we need. I think it's time to sail back. I know I'm not supposed to, but I just need to see everyone, even from afar. Oh, I'm sorry, Carto. I was so wrapped in my own feelings, I didn't even ask about yours. Did you find anything about your granny? How was the volcano? Oh, a letter from your granny? May I read it? I'm so glad she's safe. And she wants to meet you on an iceberg? Hmm. My people have spoken of such a place near the edge of the world. I don't know how to get there, but perhaps they do? We're already headed back to the island, so we can find out more there. You can ask around and I'll do some snooping. What do you say, Karo? Can you come back to my island with me? Yes. Great. Let's get back to the boat. I did a lot of reading while you were gone, and it was great. But this turns out the theater of my mind can't beat the spray of sea salt water on your face. I decided to get back out there. Basement one. What is this plant, though? Hey. I know that look in the eye. You girls are headed over off on our adventure. Well, don't forget to stop by the chalet whenever you're in the neighborhood. Well, it's good for a new story. There's something going over here. Not only is the iceberg dwelling a demand, demanding lifestyle choice, but Entirely an unpredictable one. Running into a friend might be the last time you see them for a while. If the icebergs don't drift together again. Burdens and all supplies of boxes, essential tools, and food. I.e. sea pickles on every iceberg in case any one were to get stranded. The legend of the seventh iceberg has been passed around for countless generations. It was once an ancient document lives on only in story recounted by the archaeologist Luca. Whoever will listen. The story says that the iceberg contains a treasure to improve the lives of a people living on the edge of the world. Legend though it might be, Luca has dedicated his existence to finding the treasure, never giving up hope. Has he? See ya. The little cartographer and her friend were set sail. They returned to the island where they began with the help of the wiggling companion. And somewhere far beyond that granny iceberg loomed large. Loom. Oh, look at this. It changed again. Uh, which way was the boat? Straight down. The boat is down this way. All right. Let's cruise. You take the sail, I'll take the sail. And we'll keep a close eye on your worm buddy. Shanana and Carto back on the high seas. Here we go. So we're going to be sailing again. What? Which way do we go? I don't know. I can't take out my items, so... If you want to think about it, take your time. Is he pointing? Southeast? Can't do, Captain Carto. Getting kind of foggy. Uh, the, what does your room have to say for itself? 
too. That doesn't feel right, but I give it a shot. We have to pay closer attention to that worm. Let's try that again. Doesn't feel right, but I give it a shot. Um. Can do Captain Carto. Oh. We made it. That's my island, alright. Who's that out there? You girls look familiar. We're just mermaids, sir. You've never seen us before. Oh, that makes sense. Carry on, then. Phew, that was close. Okay, now we just need to get past that reef. Any tips? We're headed towards a dead end. Let's split up to buy the boat in two pieces. <laughs> Let's split up. That doesn't feel right, but I gave it a shot. I'm going to be closer to that worm. This does say split up. The earthworm is wriggling excitement and has a taste for denture and dirt. That's the reef. Any tips? Can you do, Captain Carto? We're in the lake. Okay, now this is just ridiculous. He's a question mark. Oh, how do we wrap this up? We sail towards 7 o'clock. We sail clockwise and then go straight. Something to do with a hook. Oh, the above. Sail towards 7 o'clock, then turn clockwise and go straight and throw the hook. Well, it's worth a try. Huh. I'm not sure how that worked, but we made it. Great job, everyone. I can't believe we were really back here. You and your squirmy friend are quite the team. Carto and... Earthworm Wriggles? Carto and Wriggles. Wiggles. Alright, let's split up and look for the clues to the iceberg. We can meet back here when you have some info. I'm gonna stay out of sight since I'm not supposed to be back here. I know it's tradition, but it's important to my family. See you back here in a bit, Carto. Oh... Just as I have left it. Hello. Hey kid, you're back. Is Shanana with you? Of course she isn't here. You know the tradition. Ah oh, yes, of course. Well, please give her a huge bear hug if you see her. We miss her dearly. Are we total back here for the fishing festival? It only happens a few times a month, and we have a competition here. Happy to loan you a rod and a bobber in case the mood strikes you. Come fish with us. Come fish with us. Okay. Thank you again for accompanying Shannon. It was such a kind of you. I hope she's doing well and feels her love for her even from afar. You are it all the time. Did you girl sail the whole archipelago? She's a born adventurer. I knew she'd take it when she got the taste. She just had to get out of her comfort zone. He's gonna show me my love. Probably a pot of seafoods too. supposed to go around and talk to everybody, am I? Hi! It's nice to see you again. I was wondering if we would have any visitors come eating this month. My little lady here is growing up so quickly. Now she'll be slinging fish like her father before I know it. Ahoy! I want to hope your travels have treated you well. Yet again, your timing is fortunate for our fishing festivals on us. Call it fish... 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 But don't tell my wife. Ugh. Anyways, the fish... <laughs> fish... Oh, 
we held near the big fish lodge. We have a fishing competition and our outsiders are always welcome. They won't let me enter since I'm a fisherman by trade. That means I can get to be the house. What an honor. Hello, little boy. This sandpiper won't stay still. I just want to show it this cool stick. Okay. No one's inside. Hello. Oh, hello again. I trust your travels have been fruitful. Have you encountered our dear son, perhaps? I suppose chances were slim. Besides, last we heard from him, he was headed to the end of the world. But that was many years ago. I hope he brought back something warm to wear. Oh, do you like the cold weather? I'm told it builds character. I think she'd like to visit there, love. I recognize the twinkle in her eye. Our son had it too. The look of adventure. Well, a good map of the ocean might lead you there. It just so happens that I have donated one as a prize to the fishing festival. You have just to find all the lost fish and lead them home to your net. I'll feel like you'll be good at that for some reason. Best of luck at the festival. I'll be rooting for you to win that ocean map. No one's inside. Okay. She's back at the boat. Hey! What's that for my dad? I really miss everyone, but I'm glad I got to see them from afar at least. Okay, so to find your granny, we need to get to an iceberg. To find the iceberg, we need an ocean map. And to get the ocean map, we need to win at the competition at the fishing festival. Right? Yep. Great, we know the plan. Let's get fishing. The festival takes place in the big fish loach nearby. It's our biggest loach, or lake. You can probably guess what it's shaped like. Hmm. I still don't want anyone to recognize me, though. Well, I have an idea. I'll be right back. You're gonna put her in her disguise? Hey! I'm Carto. Hi, Carto. I'm Rianne. Hee <laughs> hee. There's no way they'll recognize me now. I'm ready to go. Let's head to the big fish lake. It's the fishy looking lake nearby. Fishy looking lake. Do you? Do I need to build it? Why was that the fish? Everyone in position? I guess. I don't have a fishing rod. The two outsiders in the competition this time are very exciting. But select to you, Ryan, and friend. Once you meet experience your first competition then you may be hooked but don't worry our prizes are safely launched away huh our rules are the same as always first one to collect every type of fish wins let's begin my dad gave us a couple of fishing rods to use but this one is for you who doesn't even notice it was me when he handed them over okay I just forget how relaxing this is. Even when the stakes are high, it's nice to just slow down. 
Well, my dad taught me how to fish. He never caught anything himself, so I'd throw back any fish I caught before he saw them. I didn't want to make him feel bad. Am I looking for silhouettes? Ah. Uh. My husband says that fishing is a game of strength. I don't think he's ever won that particular game. I think fishing is all about reading the lake. Just picture the fish you want to catch and go for it. from a five-time champion. The secret is choosing the best worm. Well, and re reeling in your rod the moment you see the bobber bobbing. I don't have a worm anymore. I remember teaching Cheyenne how to fish. And she just couldn't get the hang of it. The poor thing. Cast, wait, reel, it's so simple. I don't think she caught a single fish, but never she not trying. No fish. Fish, fish, fish. There are four types of fish in this lake. I drew them for you. Oh. Thanks. Don't show anyone else. It's a secret. See you back after the competition. Okay. Hi. Hmm. I love fresh fish. This one can grow up to be a picky eater. Believe me. I won't stand for it. Eyes, colors, liver. They're good for the growing girl and they taste of the pure wild sea. Yeah. Uh. Rise are just over there. Yoshima and the gardening lessons from Kayan. So Okay. So Thank you. 
So I have the green, red, and blue one. I need the orange one. See, someone may have caught all the fish types. Come turn your catch and let me check. Whoops. Didn't need to do that. Cut all four. They look exactly like my drawings. You sure do, buddy. These fish. They are made from this loach and each one and one of each type. One of those competitions ran and her friend. The prize is yours. Woohoo! It's great seeing you again, kid. But imagine you have other islands of visit, especially with that fancy new ocean map you want. I have so much I want to ask you about Shannon. But I suppose her life is her own now. Tell me though, is she well? Is she happy? Yes. Puts my mind at ease. Thank you for being such a good friend to her. You're welcome back anytime. And you too, Bran. Quite some fishing skills you displayed as well. You might have grown up on this island. You must have grown up on a island. Might I ask which one? I'll look so you guys are eager to find your next port of call. I don't blame you, it's a big ocean out there. The sea will bring us together again if it wills it. Farewell. Yeah, see ya. Hey, Carto. Thanks for doing that with me. I was really happy to see my parents and everyone else was doing so well. You and my dad still can't catch a fish to save his life. You help me get home and reunite with my people. And now it's time for me to help you do the same. We're going to find your granny. I just know it. To the edge of the world, iceberg ahoy. We made it! Wow, it's so beautiful here. I've never seen snow like this before. It's so peaceful and so cold. Better keep the boat moving before it freezes the ice. If you want to start looking for your granny, I'll come find you once you've found a safe place to dock. Uh, well, I'm gonna leave this one here. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye!